What's going on, Movie Mouse here back in City Skylines. Let's play Season 12, and we're doing another PC build. Only my second time on the Let's Play series uh, that I've touched PC. Often I reserve uh, the PC builds for the live streams, but I thought it would be fun to really focus and dive into a build, and in this case, one that I did on the stream before, uh, but with a very different approach this time. So if you saw previously, I had posted a video about this map, or, or more specifically, my inspiration for it, which is uh, Oahu, and uh, that is the home of Honolulu. It's the uh, third largest of the Hawaiian Islands, but I wanted to build up something kind of similar and borrow some ideas there um, and build it into the Hanu Island map. So uh, that's what we're really focusing in on um, as part of this build. But I'm going to do it like I've done so many times before, which is build it up legitimately. We're not cheating based on money or um, unlimited unlocks. I do have a couple mods installed. They're mostly graphical uh, at this point. Uh, I do have uh, Move It installed um, and some other things, but uh, nothing that's going to change the gameplay that much. So regardless of what platform you're on, I hope that you'll find this uh, entertaining and informative. And uh, let's dive right in and start making um, our first little area here. Now, uh, one thing that I think is worth considering, right, is, uh, well, first of all, let's build a tiny little segment of road so we can delete it, and that'll get us uh, one-way roads, because this is going to be uh, very central to our idea here. Let's come right in the middle of these two. So I'm going to come out, uh, you know what, it doesn't snap right if I do that, does it? Okay, never mind, take it back, we're already going to... We're gonna come off here. So we're gonna come out uh, three big lines, that's 30 units. And uh, you'll kind of see why in a second. Uh, we're gonna do five units across for the, the, uh, the little cut through cross streets here. And it's gonna be very important later. This is gonna give us just enough room to put the, uh, the monorail station down. We don't have that unlocked yet, but we'll be able to run a monorail right through the middle of that block by choosing just those, uh, those uh, five units across. So another 30 before our next intersection. And this one, I'm gonna alternate my one ways so that people can turn around at different spots. And then why don't we come out 30 from here? So that's two, that's three. This is gonna go up a hill a little bit. And we're gonna come back up for that one. And then let's, thank you pop-ups. Let's reverse our direction here, so. There we go. Now let's get this hooked in. Uh, again, it's gonna be a little a little funky for right now. I won't break up, move it just to fix things yet. That's, uh, it's way too early in the series for that, so. Um, we'll, just, we'll just deal. Uh, we also don't have any highways unlocked, so we'll go back over to Freeform. That's curved, we'll go over to Freeform and kinda hook things in like that. Why don't we do that on the way back onto the highway and then we'll just reverse this. So we've got a way into the city, a way out of the city, and we're building this nice framework that's gonna help limit our traffic uh, and how much things can really uh, intersect with one another. Uh, but for the rest of what we're doing, for the beginning of our build here, we can do some, uh, some streets that'll be pretty tight on top of one another. Let's do Mm. I don't, it doesn't even matter, but just for organizational sake, I, I kind of want it to snap these nice uh, even spots. So we can't come up there, at least not uh, where I want to. So let's start building out down below. Now we're going to be kind of careful where we come back to over here. We don't want to go too far up the hill. I think that's okay. Let's see, did I page up somehow? I think that I did. Maybe we don't connect that one. Where are we at? We're at $52,000, which is getting to be a little bit tight. So let's, uh, at least money-wise, 
Uh, one of the things I, I should mention, I always mention it when I'm starting cities, but I'm guessing if you've been here for 11 seasons, you probably know to pause the game at first. I think that is now the default on PC. I don't believe that's the case on console. I could be wrong though. Uh, but always pause the game when you're starting out your city because anytime you're, you're building and time is passing, then you're paying to upkeep that stuff. And if nobody's living here, then you're not making any tax revenue. So we're gonna do uh, very much a grid here to start. And I, that doesn't bother me that much. Um, we're gonna bring this all the way down to the coast. And then we're gonna have a, a coastal road that kind of wraps around just along that beach. That'll be one of our first uh, beach areas. If we take a quick scan around, this is also going to be a big beach area. And I think our big downtown kind of Honolulu style might be down here. We're really going to have to cut into the mountain a little bit. So alternatively, maybe we do it down over this way it may make more sense. Really kind of have a, a harbor area. Maybe even have a little cutout here for, you know, what isn't the, the glorious gold sands beach or white sands, I guess, whatever it is. Um, we could do like a little industrial area through here or something, but, uh, but this is good to get us started. So let's jump in here. Uh, we'll definitely zone in back all the way back this way. It's gonna be faster if we do that. Um, and in fact, why don't I do this and then just D zone one, two, three, man, I need to zoom in one, two, three, four. Actually, I should put my glasses on. It's probably more like it. Right, so hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we'll dezone off of the main street. Actually, you know what? No, we'll dezone completely off of this block because I'm not even thinking right here. This is going to be commercial along that main strip. So one, two, three, four along this main uh, one way avenue. A little bit of a dead zone before we get into our. One, two, three, four. Before we get into our residential areas. And I'm not going to zone here because that is uh, where a street will eventually connect through. But again, we won't zone right on top of this and we'll zone in behind it. Like that. And we'll get some industrial over in this pocket over to the right side of the screen. Uh, may as well prep for that now. So this is not the uh, the perfect road layout for this by any means. So where do we really want to go? This is, is this 10 units out? That is. So we want to come out another, we want to come out another 20 or so before we come back down here. Uh, but this is just going to have to do for now. So let's get a little industrial over here just to get us started and then we can kind of move things around as we buy our second tile. We'll start with that. I think that's okay. This is a little bit pinched in here. You might leave yourself a little bit more room if you want to build anything actually on this, uh, on this block right here. I had a big problem with rocks in the road the last time I built on this map on PC. <laughs> Apparently that's going to be a continuation. I don't have anarchy turned on, so I don't know what's going on there. Let's um, let's. What do we got for money? Forty-seven thousand. So let's get in. Uh, let's get in our water pump first. That should be good right there. A little bit further away. We'll do that. And then let's uh, run this over to the edge of our grid of streets, and we'll kind of hook up based on that. And we'll do a little bit of this for redundancy. I don't think, can I not go 400 will have to do. Okay. And that is all covered now. We need to get power over here. So I think we'll run just one little power line between the two. I think, can we get enough right there? That should be enough. So let's just connect these bubbles. And then let's see what we can do money-wise. I mean, we've got, we've got some good wind power we can use up here. Uh, question is where are people gonna move in first? So let's throw it on three times speed and find that out. 
and uh, we'll get them connected. Of course, of course, all the way over there. Thanks a lot. Um, <laughs> that makes it nice and easy to run power. Okay, we can at least go through here. Why don't we just come right up the middle of the zone for now? And right up to there. Now, with... Um, oh, I am using electric roads. But since our power plants weren't sitting on roads, they're not actually power plants, they're uh, wind turbines, it doesn't... It doesn't help us out at all. So, in fact, as long as I get the power down to here... Pause... Uh, electric. As long as I get it to here, we're good on uh, on this. But as you can see, it's you know it's it's not saving us a lot. Uh, what happens with this mod is once a house is powered, if it's sitting on a road or I should say any building, it will spread power to the roads, and then anywhere the roads are, you've got electricity. So, but again, not really saving us a lot uh, in this particular case. Why that's not powered, I'm not sure. It should all come back. There we go. And since the roads are powered, we don't have to worry about the separation between these two zones causing any problems. Whoops. Did not mean to bulldoze. So we've got a little bit of polluting industry over here. I don't think it's going to stay. I think we're going to move it kind of down here somewhere. Maybe later on in the series off to its own island. But hopefully this will get us started. Uh, if we take a look unlock wise, one of the nice things about building on this map is I think the top tier is like in the 30s. Yeah, 36,000 is the top tier. So that will get us uh, to our big bump. We don't have to make the uh, the island too, too crazy. Our first sunset on Hanu Island, where is it? Looks very beautiful. And uh, before we knew it, we're already going to be at that uh, that first little hamlet of only 380 as our first bump. We'll get through uh, a couple different uh, milestones, I believe, this episode. Um, you know, I want to focus on different areas of the build. And today is really just about getting started. Uh, there's no, you know, grand scheme of, of a, this being a final project. There we go. Um, let's pause it. Let's come back to that. I think... Um, you know, we may keep some of this structure, but we're really going to start to fold things in when we have more territory unlocked, more uh, roads and styles and uh, different things. So I'm not going to worry too, too much about this structure. So if this feels a little bit uh, gritty and too square, don't worry about it. We're definitely going to get away from that in a lot of parts of the town. Though when we do kind of the large downtown area, that will definitely be a grid that's sort of lined up you know, with a straight road that runs along this beach and then everything kind of pivots off of that. Uh, like Oahu, we're going to do some kind of canal maybe that connects in and maybe separates out a little industrial area off to the side. There'll be a lot of st fun stuff. Stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned for that. Now that we've unlocked our first milestone, taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, education. So we've unlocked a few things and some of these are, are uh, assets, uh, different buildings that we have options for. We want to replace the uh, the look of the default schools, but let's go into budget taxes. Let's set it up to 12%. That's my favorite sweet spot. Uh, people say you can get away with a little higher. Of course, if you want to help growth a little bit, you can, uh, you can set it a little lower, but that's usually a good spot for me where people aren't complaining and you're making decent money. So taxes took out a loan uh, and then we want to do garbage healthcare education. So what kind of money do we have? Do we do recycling? I don't know. Uh, I think that we will. So for now, let's throw it on the middle of this block for now so that we can continue the street on either side. So it doesn't matter if it's here or here. We can't quite center it based on the size of that block. But that gets us one recycling plant for now. That is garbage. Healthcare will do a standard clinic. And for this one, how's our coverage if we... If we kind of work on this middle block, it's a little light on the, the industrial side, but it works for everybody else. So let's do, we're not zoning it, so let's just do healthcare over here for now. 
and then education. So education, we've got a couple things we can do. Elementary school, uh, this is the, um, if you're using a European style map, and the, I believe the other style, the, I guess the default style, is the, uh, I don't know, what would you say, more North American? I, I don't know. This is definitely not what schools look like over here, at least for the most part. Um, maybe the really, really old ones. But what's more important, right? $10,000, $160 per week upkeep, 300 students. Same exact thing, right? And then we've got things like the community school. This is part of the Green Cities DLC. They're a little bit more expensive to put in. They're a little bit more expensive to upkeep. They're going to use less water and electricity. That's the green part about them. So less burden overall on those. So you're getting a bit back for what you're paying extra on. Uh, but they also support less students. So over here, we've got the central elementary school, which is a lot more expensive, about three times as expensive for about three times the students. So we have that. We also have this one, which is relatively cheap for a little bit less students than the regular uh, elementary school provides. So uh, I wouldn't mind getting in the central elementary school when we get closer to our downtown, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to just throw a different building in here. So let's throw in, let's throw in this one for now. Let's see, is that four wide? It is, so that won't eat into any of the commercial zoning. And we've got a fun little elementary school. Looks like brought to you by Google, if I had to guess. They add a flashlight to this where it lights up the the property that you're you're looking at. Is that is that a new thing? Did I not know about that? Is that to help you find your, your mouse cursor easier? Okay, so garbage, healthcare, education, taxes, loans. We did all that stuff. So let's take a look at the zoning that we have free. What do we need, right? We need more industrial. And unfortunately, we don't have a really good pocket to put that in right now. So maybe we could just make a, a sloppy little extra street over here for now. So that we've got more space we can zone if we come down, let's say this way. I don't want to exactly zone over here, but it'll have to do the trick for now. We'll get rid of it very shortly. Over here, I'm just gonna extend this down a bit to get us a couple more neighborhoods where we can bolt on some uh, some residential come down 440 and we'll just run parallel and we may as well for redundancy sake just in case get that all connected and then what this is not this is not covered over here So let's do that. There's our first official sunrise. Kind of missed. I missed that. Sorry. I mean, I guess the first official sunrise was in the credits at the beginning. So either way. So when are you watching this back, by the way? Are you watching this back uh, after the fact? Are you watching back the premiere? Let me know in either the comments or the live chat. Hello, live chat, if, uh, if you're here now. But, uh, but thanks for tuning in either way. I'm going to try and premiere a couple of the episodes this season and, and whenever they're big events. And of course, the, the premiere itself is uh, is a big event. Where are we at? Where are we trying to get to? We are almost there. We need 700 people. We're very, very close to our next milestone and the ability to buy our first area, which I think we're going to grab uh, up towards the highway. We'll also take a look um, at what we can. What are we? Are we hurting for water already? I turned off watch it, so I'm going to have to actually keep an eye on things. Um, do I have notifications turned off? Let's see. So this this up here, what is this one called? Toggle it? I forget. Uh, but you can turn off things like district names, contour lines, border lines, district icons, district names. Notifi Let's turn notification icons on. I think that won't tell us about problems that the people are complaining about. So I'm really excited for this one. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, right? But 
it, it's going to be nice to get the, the creative juices flowing, but I'm going to do it in a way where, please, if you're a console player, don't feel left out. Um, so far, everything we've done, we can follow along with. And I, I say that as I, of course, uh, did drop in a custom school, but that's not that different, right? It's just to make things look a little different. It's not changing the gameplay around at all just yet. We'll get there later in the series, but there'll be a clear delineation. Um, and we're going to do tips, tricks, tutorials, how to build up a city. Again, we're not cheating. We're not doing any of that stuff. So it really is just about, you know, playing the game at first. And, and we'll introduce some different mods and some different ways to uh, improve quality of life on uh, cities in... Uh, on cities and PC, but uh, but again, for the most part, I think the, the majority of the season is gonna be very easy to follow regardless of what platform you're on. Uh, and again, if you're on Switch, then, you know, play with some of those cheats on and make yourself an island. Um, it's the best thing you can do. Now, growth does look like it's very slow. How are we losing people? What are we losing them to? Why? Why are people moving out already? What did I do? Oh, I haven't marked any more um, any more land here. Not, not industrial. Second I did that, people started moving in. Um, I built out area and I, I piped it with water. I didn't, uh, I didn't actually uh, zone anything for anyone to move in. I'm sure somebody, somebody must have caught that. Um, night wise, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna leave the the cycle just kind of happening normal. Or in, in fact, I think in this case it's happening faster. It says normal, but time passes faster on PC, especially if you have a fast machine uh, than it does on console. It's it's not a game limit. It, it, it It's hooked into your, your CPU cycle. So uh, Worthy Village, what do we get? Well, a new area. We can do districts and policies or some of them now. Second loan, police and fire, specializations. And yeah, let's do that. So do we get... Do we get, wait, did we get a second loan? We do. Second loan, let's get an area, police and fire. And I think that's gonna be good for our first episode. We'll, uh, we will take a look at one mod before we exit. That's the cinematic camera mod. I'll show you how I get some of the, the silky smooth scenes of, uh, well, what will be Hanu Island this, uh, this year or this season, I should say. So, okay, where were we? Let's go back into budgets. Let's take out that second loan. We're like halfway, so pay and take, get a little bit of extra bump in uh, in money. And let's take a look at areas. So, okay, that's good enough. Uh, let's pause it for a second. So the thing with this map that I really like is if, if we start here, again, this is Hanu Island Park Life DLC. If we start here, if we wanna buy this entire island, it's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, if you want to get these. And then you can buy this island down here at nine, or most of, almost all of this island can be nine. So depending on how you want to shape your city, you get most of what you see here um, on screen. We're going to start working our way up this way, right? Uh, but eventually... You know, we might buy some of this stuff or, or unlock some of this stuff later on, but we're going to buy all these tiles legit. And there is a really cool nine tile structure that you can get. You just have to concede and choose this island or this island. I don't think you can have both while also encompassing all the rest of the structure here. But that lets us work our way up towards the highway on this side to develop something different over here. And we're definitely going to want to look at uh, changing this uh, intersection up. So rather than a like a T intersection here, we could do you know another T down this way that fed off over here. But what I think will make more sense for us is to do not a cloverleaf, but uh, a diamond stack interchange. I know somebody that did a great tutorial on that. Link in the Discord. Check out in the uh, description down below if you wanna come by and get involved in the discussion. So let's... Let's look at a couple things. How do we get some shots of our city? Well, there's a built-in cinematic camera mod now. And this actually does an okay job. I'm uh, I'm relatively impressed by it. Problem is right now I'm running at about 30 frames a second in game. So it may not look bad, it's stable, 
but it's not as silky smooth as it could be when we use some of the um, advanced uh, camera mod tricks. We'll get uh, a couple shots here and oh, there's some rocks there. I gotta delete those rocks. Um, we'll get a couple shots here and it just kind of follows random things around your city. It might follow a road, it might follow a truck, a car, a service vehicle, a pedestrian. Uh, sometimes it'll even follow things underground um, such as uh, like metros and things like that. But I almost look like there's a fire in that window. Um, I'm just super paranoid. Did we put in fire in police? No, we didn't. I'm just going to totally overlook that. My maps love to burn down. I should know better. Uh, so we don't have any power plants that we have to worry about because we're doing... We're doing uh, the, the towers. Wind towers. So that is fire. Let's drop a police station right next door. And I'm going to do the more modern structures for now. Did I not zone commercial on that other side? Because I feel like commercial should have zoned in there by now. That's weird. Uh, zoning. Let's break this. Because that doesn't really need to be there at all. I'm kind of weirded out that uh, all the commercial moved in on this side. I don't know why that's more appealing. Uh, but now we can also kind of work our way up. Whoa, lag. So now we can kind of work our way up this way. And have a couple more neighborhoods of residential. And we can go grid all the way up here. Like what we can kind of do and what you'll see in a lot of cases in real life is a tiniest little bit of buffer. Let's see. What if we come out and snap from this node? Then I think it lets us go straight on that. And we can kind of just try and maintain an even distance from the highway. That looks pretty close. Right? We can have a road that kind of runs along the highway. Just to kind of frame it out. So let's do this. We're probably wasting a lot of money on roads that we don't need to be spending right now. But I wanted to, to kind of frame this out. So let's see. Let's get this all connected. And this is deep up here, right? This is you don't want to have to go through the residential neighborhoods to get up here. Uh, but we can kind of make this one an access road and, and maybe zone a little less on this strip or do commercial along this strip. We'll figure that out. We'll and, and we'll slide stuff around too as we need to. Right now it's about moving people in. So let's move them in on this side to start. Way more than we need. We'll get a little water in here and then we'll talk cinematic camera to uh, to close out the episode for today. So for this one, we don't need to go all the way over. We'll just go down as much as we need to to cover that. And then let's come down this way, I guess. What's our money situation? It's good enough now. I'll be regretting this decision to do redundant pipes later on, but it doesn't hurt. Certainly if you're playing with natural disasters turned on, which I don't, I don't think that I am. I probably should double check that. So another sunrise here. Uh, so this time let's, let's pause. Okay. Reality is paused. Let's um, turn our day night cycle to pause. We can do that independently inside of ultimate eye candy. And then I want to start like, what, 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 what do, what do we want to see here? You know, what if we started with this shot and backed up? No. Let's follow the sun into the city, right? Let's let's try starting here, and we'll end up kind of kind of looking over there. I guess I don't know. It's not an exact science, you know. So I'm gonna hit C. This is cinematic camera extended. This is this is our mod excursion for episode number one. Uh, and I've talked about this one before, but just for a little bit of a refresher, we're gonna add points wherever we want points. So I'm gonna add a point there. I'm gonna say where do I want my camera? to finish and maybe it can finish kind of looking at
Oh, are they not powered? Or do we have an electricity problem? Hold on a second. We totally have an electricity problem, don't we? Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> We're not even getting electricity up into the other neighborhood. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, let's get a second tower in here. I just realized all those houses are dark. So, uh, so that should help us out a little bit. Right? Should it not? Time is passing now. Oh, okay. So now those houses and streets are lit up. I was like, why, why are those roads not lit up? So where do we want to end up? Let's end up kind of looking at the sunrise down our main street. Let's get that like a nice straight look down the main street. So we'll do that. Uh, this is delay when you get there. So let's, let's pause it here. But essentially what's happening is you're, you're saying, where do I want the camera? Well, I want the camera to start here and I want it to move over to here. How it does that is, is totally up to it. You can change if there's smoothing of the movement in, out, or in and out. Tiny Town, we've unlocked Tiny Town. We'll talk about that on the next episode. But I wanna talk about how to get from A to B. So this first number is how long does it take to do that? So let's start at 20 seconds. So it's not too long, relatively smooth, but the problem that I'm running into right here is that right now my game is getting about 23, 24 frames per second. So if we want that to look a lot smoother, well, there's a way we can kind of trick it out. So let's do that. When we come back into the menu here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record the footage. Oh, that's right, I have a delay there, so it's just gonna sit there. You can hit C to exit out of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this button for 15 frames per second. It's gonna lock the footage. It's gonna lock the game engine at 15 frames per second, which I should have no problem achieving given my current setup. Are those houses dark as well? The streets aren't lit up. We are. This is why I don't use, that's why I don't use these things. We'll put a third up there for now. We're definitely gonna rethink. Our, uh, our power in the next episode. So hold on a second, let's let it play. Let's see if it lights up these streets, which it should, it absolutely should. And I think, there we go, it wasn't even lighting up the industrial area. Oh wow, and it was light, it's lighting up the highway now. <laughs> highway shouldn't be dependent on that. Those lights should work no matter what. It's kind of weird. We're just barely, barely, barely into the green. If we grow any more, we're going to be hurting, so I guess it's time for a fourth. <laughs> Let's just do that so that the, the lights don't cut out on us while we're um, while we're doing this. Should push us comfortably into the green and light our, all our roads up again. So, okay, we've got point zero, point one. This is the time that it takes to get from A to B. Now, since we're going to lock it in at 15 frames per second, and my ultimate objective is to try and get it up to 60, even though... Most of the build that you're looking at tends to, to hover in the 25 to 30 range. And we're looking at these nice cinematics I want to be silky smooth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record this and we're gonna, it, it's gonna slow it down. So we're gonna make it longer. We're gonna basically, I don't know, multiply that by four. Let's say it takes 80 seconds duration. Um, that should work. We're locking it in. You can change the speed of the actual simulation here. So if you want things to be happening like super fast in the background, um, you can do that. So like if I hit play, it's gonna speed the simulation up. We'll just leave that at times one. I want this to take quite a while here, so let's see. This should be real creepy crawly slow. It is, okay. Now, the problem that you run into, and I've seen other creators make this mistake, is if you go into this mode, and let me see if you can see it. Yeah, can you see the, the street names? I can. The street names are still showing, and I've seen plenty of creators <laughs> unfortunately record uh, exactly that with, um, with the street names still there. So what you can do is you can free camera first, which hides the street names. And then I'm gonna hit enter and we're gonna get this slow, creepy, crawly version of this that later on in post-production, I'm gonna speed up. And in fact, let me do that right now and show you that silky smooth cinematic. Well, I tell you that I am so thankful for all of you that are watching this, whether it is 
live during the premiere or later on on demand. Uh, really amazing community and uh, so thankful to have you here. If you enjoyed this and want to see more likes, comments, and shares, they all help the channel a lot and are also greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and hit the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. I am going to be focusing primarily on PC build for a little bit, but I'm going to be loading up my other uh, console based cities from time to time and uh, doing some tunes and tweaks and revisits to those, but also other games. So come back, check out the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you want to stay in touch, join the discord again, link in the description down below. Great community of people over there. If you've got questions on city builds, regardless of platform, it's a place to do it. If you'd like to support the channel, links to that and all those other things in the description down below. Hope you enjoy this season. Uh, I hope it's informative, educational, inspirational, or whatever it is that you're looking for. Maybe it's just the soundtrack to you falling asleep, and that is totally fine as well. Whatever you're looking for, hope you find it here. Hope you check out the channel and come back for more. Until the next one, though, from the island of Hanu, and I... I mean, I guess the city of Hanu and the map of Hanu um, from Hanu. This is Move the Mouse signing off.